Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Answered Prayers. So, this game is a Yui Nikki fan game, as you can tell by the menu style. It's been a really long time since I've picked up a Yui Nikki fan game, um, either on a Let's Play or off a Let's Play. And I was going to do Yume Niki, as the, with a two, Yume Tuki, whatever, it's a pun, shut up. Um, so I was going to pick up that, but I have a character in the works, and some of you, ahem, <clears throat> Ross, Anima, Dude Master 47 and if you're watching this, Tesla Magnetic, Integration, who I... It's probably not. He probably hates my videos. Or not. I don't know. Um, I have a character in the works that's based off of the main character from this game. At least visually. So, I wanted to do a Let's Play of this game because it's been a while since I've picked up this one. And while this one might seem generic, it still has a place in... It's, it has a place in my heart. Because I like this fan game in particular... I don't think it's the partic the the best of fan games. Personally, that'll always go to Dot Flow, um, or Yumi Tuki, because Yumi Tuki had a had a different focus than Yumi Niki. Uh, Yumi Tuki's focus was the environment, not necessarily the character. This one is a little bit different in that I don't entirely think it's focusing on the character. And I don't entirely think it's focusing on the environment, but I'm not sure what it's focusing on. It does seem a little generic on the surface, in that it seems pretty much exactly like Yume Niki. There is nothing different. While as Dot Flow had the empty boxes at the end, and while as Yume Tuki had the everything. Um, but unlike other Yume Niki fan games that seem like clones, uh, Yume Graffiti, uh, something else, I forget. I haven't played many of them. This one seems to be crafted with love. And that's something that I really admire in a game, is it being made with love. And anyway, I've, you know, been all over the place. Cloudfair, actually, I didn't know Cloudfair made this. I've seen a lot of his art on Tumblr. He's actually really cool, I think. I think that's the same person, but... I really like his art, at least. Anyway, I'm just going to get right into this. I've monologued for long enough, so let's just get in to start this. Child, what are you running away from? Alright, so this one's a little bit more complicated than the last time we've seen these games. And what's this little, like, this looks like a little Homestuck Void symbol in the middle there. I don't know what that is. I have played this game before. I don't remember it very well. I popped into it just a minute ago to see whether... This is different. This is very different. I just popped into it a little bit to see um, whether it would record fine. I don't remember the worlds. The only thing I... The, I only remember just a little bit about this. So this is going to be a bit of a journey as I try to find things. Um... But this is different. We're actually starting outside. Outside. Just outside in general. I don't think we've had a Yumeniki fan game where we started outside. Or where we've been outside at all. This is so... Okay. So there's a big old Japanese shrine. Actually, it's kind of small. Alright. So this well is where we go ahead and save on this on, on our progress. Reflect on this memory, yep. So I'll just go ahead and save right there. As you can see, we check the menu. Our name is Florette. Look at her, she's so cute. Prayers. So they're not effects in this game, they're prayers. Whoa. It's sunny outside. And the fountain disappeared. And welcome to the hub world. Alright, I don't know where to go from here. 
Which world? This world only has four doors, which is interesting. Oh, hello, Flesh Child. Yeah, this is very reminiscent of Flesh Child, and I think there's a level in uh, Yumi Tuki, which is like Yumi Tuki, Yumi Niki, Yumi -ni Niki. There's Yumi Niki, and then there's Yumi Niki. Where does this one go? This reminds me of a place in Dot Flow. This is all, like, relatively new to me. I don't remember doing this before. I mean, I do remember bits of it. This is starting to come back to me, but... It's been quite a while since I was on my Yumi Niki fan game uh, kick. I haven't played a Yumi Niki fan game in a very long time. There doesn't appear to be anything in this room. So, uh, yeah, I I haven't played any game like this in a while. Oh, sweet. Our first effect. Learn Prayer Shovel. And here's a weapon for the game. Put the shovel on your shoulder, carry the shovel by the side, and this is our weapon for the game. Whereas Maratsuki had her knife, whereas uh, Sabitsuki had her pipe, whereas... Uh, Urotsuki had her chainsaw, or as Usotsuki had a bat. I never played it. I never played that one. Actually, I did play it for a little, but I remember it being broken, so I never played it. Chi, what did Chi have? I forget. But yeah, so we have a shovel here, and this is actually part of the reason that I made this character uh, based on this particular. Uh, this this florette because of the shovel because um, I made my character sort of a gray. That's blood. That's a puddle of blood. Okay, is this a door? Can I open it? No. But that's very interesting. There's a puddle of blood there, and there's a door here. Is it locked? A rusted lock. Okay, so we need to come back with something. That's interesting. I've never seen that in a... You mean to keep... That's an arrow. That points down. Where? Huh. Oh, man. I'm already getting that old feeling. I love this. I love it. I'm so glad I decided to LP this. <gasps> oh, my God! That sound! Oh my god, my childhood! Right in the childhood! How? <laughs> oh my god, that sound. It's a Game Boy Advance sound. Actually, it's just a Game Boy sound in general, but I never had a Game Boy. I just had a Game Boy Advance. This... Oh, man. They didn't need to go through such lengths in, like... That's weird. Okay. They didn't need to go through... Uh, Cloudfair didn't need to go through such lengths in, um... Like, rethinking the Famicom world. And, like, not making it a Famicom world, but a Game Boy world. Which actually lets me, leads me to believe that... Uh, Florette would have access to more tech than Marotsuki, because Marotsuki only had the Famicom world. Um, so yeah. Did we already go in here? Oh no, no we did not. Ah, the desert level. Ah, oh, we can jump! Hop. Hop. Ah, oh, that's so cute. With those beats, I was, uh, I was playing a Spooky Sass of Jump Scares the other day. Um, just trying to beat it. Oh my god, the scariest monster in that entire game is the one that's based on, um... The one that's based on Ben Drowned. Just because he's so stressful. Korei... Korei... Ah! She's a cute little. 
I don't know what she is, but she's a cute little. He's cute. She's a cutie. All right. So yeah, I was, uh, he's so scary in that game. I'm actually probably not going to do a run through of that game. I might do a run through of that game, but what I was planning on doing for that game, I was gonna just going to do endless mode and just see how far I could get. Ooh, listen to that beat. Listen to that old Game Boy beat. Boo, 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 da, boo, boo. This reminds me of an area in. Uh... What was Chief? Or what was Chief? Whoa, whoa! What's this? It's that symbol again. We keep seeing that void symbol. That is the void. No, that's the space symbol. That is the space symbol from home. I'm sad that I know so much about Homestuck. That I know as much as I do about Homestuck. Because I don't even like Homestuck. Hop. Hop. Oh my god, her little ears! Boink! 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 She's like a little, uh... Like a Zumbini! Does anyone remember Zumbinis? That was great. That game was great. Oh, man. This game... I don't know why. Else. This game has got me reminiscing about so many. Speaking of Spooky's House of Jump Scares, that's gonna be my uh, thumbnail for this video, probably. Oh my God, Spooky, Spooky, where are you? Do I need hands to be able to open the door? It's just like... It sounds like the opening... The, the opening notes to... Yup, sounds like the opening notes to some Castlevania game. Ah, I love it! That door has this symbol on it. But we can't go in it. Let's follow the footprints back. I guess we need something else to get in there? Maybe? I don't know. This music is so cool! What's in here? How do I... How do I anything? Where's the speed one? This game is so cool! I mean, sure, it's a Yuminiki clone, essentially, but... Ah, it's got so much to it. Like, so much heart put into it. Just like Yuminiki, just like Dot Flow. Like, you couldn't make a game. Like, Yume Graffiti was clearly just ripping off. Was clearly just ripping off of Yuminiki's fame. But this one, I think, someone saw Yuminiki and was like, Okay, I have an idea for one of these. Why did I come out in a different area? I want to get over there. Can I get over there? Please? Where the hell? Oh, it loops. I gotcha. This is just like the hell maze. Vaguely. I like the other thing, the reason that you can tell a game is a, a clone versus not a clone is if, you know, they have a bunch of worlds that are basically the same. I came from there. Alright, no, I don't want to go through there. Okay. Is that if they have a bunch of worlds that are essentially the same, um... But, yeah, but they're just like, they're functionally similar and everything's really similar. Whereas the non-clone would have, like, fundamental differences in the way things worked. Like, me. Me was a clone. And it wasn't a particularly well done clone either. Um, I don't think. Uh, dot flow. Dotflow had some clony elements, but I think that was because they were trying to make you think it was gonna be like Yumeniki. 
especially with the way it ended where uh, Sabitsuki goes up to her balcony. And if you haven't seen this, you can actually go look at my dot .flow playthrough. I'll link it to it in the description below. Uh, that's my timer. Alright, I'll link that in my description below, but because... I'll finish what I was saying and then I'll end the episode. Because, um... What I was doing... Because of how uh, Sabisuki goes up to her balcony and then you see the blood splat. And, by the way, spoilers for both Yuminiki and Dot Flow. Yeah, I'll link both of them in the destruction this, this, this destructions below. Um, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to wake up. Uh, how do I wake up? I wake up with nine? Yeah, okay. In the meantime, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to see you guys. In the next video. Bye everyone.